or not, not every biotech stock has been a total dog this year. In fact, if you look hard enough, you can find some huge winners. Take Corbis Pharmaceuticals. This is a small cap development stage biotech. It's up 370% this year alone. The company's lead drug, Resunab, is a treatment for various chronic inflammatory and fibrotic diseases. It currently, it's currently being uh, considered and studied in four, four different phase two trials, including one for cystic fibrosis. And investors are pretty stoked about the drug's potential that they've sent the stock pretty much soaring to the stratosphere. Just yesterday, we learned that it was granted orphan drug status by the EU. Now, Corvus first came on our radar screen when I got a call from uh, in August in New York, just a couple of weeks ago. And while this is a very small, very speculative company, the kind you should only touch with money that you maybe have to afford to lose. Remember, because I'm saying it's speculation. I still think it would be intriguing, especially if the phase two trial results expected later this year turn out to be positive. So let's take a closer look with Dr. Yuval Cohen. He's the CEO of Corvus Pharmaceuticals. In order to learn more about his company and its potential wonder drug, again, speculative situation, but we love to find out more. Dr. Cohen, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. And, you know, I had to put the caveat in because the stock's up a lot and because typically we have larger companies, but I'm going to turn the floor over to you because you're doing some amazing things and I want our viewers to know what you're up to. So Corbis is a two and a half year old company uh, and our focus is unique. We focus exclusively on a small family of diseases uh, that are typically very rare. They're actually orphan diseases. They only have tens of thousands of patients mm -hmm. uh, in the United States, but there are diseases where the effect on the patient can be devastating. So what's called the morbidity is severe. And sadly, these are diseases that are either life-threatening or actually terminal. So one of our diseases is, ge is a genetic childhood disease, cystic fibrosis. And I know that's a cause that's very close yes, to your heart. Absolutely. And um, we work um, um, very closely with these patients and, of course, with the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, which is just an extraordinary group of people. Right, and I think people should know that they do not give uh, $5 million grants to everybody. They are very selective and are very rigorous in terms of what companies that they give money to. We are delighted with the award that we received. Right. Um, and that award is, has two aspects to it, in fact. The one, of course, is the non-dilutive financing. That's mm -hmm. really important. But as you said, it's not money from just anyone. It's money that's coming in from really the premier group of people that are specialized in this field. Right. And I think the credibility that comes with that is important. But there are other phase two trials going on for other different indications. Correct. That about. So CF is our first one of our diseases. The other three, Jim, are all rare autoimmune diseases. Mm -hmm. So they belong to the big family that sort of arthritis would belong to, okay. except they are rare. Uh, they are sadly very life-threatening. Uh, and again, the effect on the patient is devastating. The first one, which I think has a lot of eyeballs on, on us for uh, that disease, is a disease known as systemic sclerosis, but people may know it as scleroderma. Right. Mostly women, mostly in their middle ages. Their immune system one day starts to attack the body. Um, their body transforms and changes. Their quality of life goes down uh, really dramatically. And sadly, the mortality rates in this disease, for which there's absolutely no drug appro approved, can be as high as 80%. Jeez, okay. Wow. All right. Uh, also, I know that uh, you just got good news the other day, which did cause the stock to spike, that we should talk a little bit about. Correct. So part of our um, focus, as I mentioned, are orphan diseases. And when you, in the orphan disease space, there are a bunch of things that happen that are different to other diseases. One of them is a recognition from uh, the government or different uh, authorities um, that what you're doing is special. So we have orphan designation and fast track designation in the US from the FDA, but the other day we also got orphan designation for cystic fibrosis from the EU, and that's very helpful. Now, do uh, you have an indication for, I'm gonna mispronounce this last one, I'm sorry, but systemic lupus erythematosus? SLE, much easier, absolutely. Okay. So lupus is actually our largest disease. It's still an uncommon disease, but if you combine our four diseases, so we have cystic fibrosis, mm -hmm. we've got scleroderma, we've got a disease called dermatomyositis, another autoimmune disease, and lastly, lupus, you actually reach a population size in the Western world of close to 800,000 patients. Okay. Now remember, this, these are all rare or orphan diseases, right. and that's really different. The last thing I want to just ask about sure. is the synthetic uh, cannabinoid. Uh, are, are, do you have the ability or are, is there a way to be able to think about one of your drugs is perhaps uh, being uh, anti-pain someday. 
So the drug actually belongs to a class of synthetic molecules that traditionally are analgesics. They make pain go away. Right. Except this drug is very odd. It's actually an anomaly. It behaves the opposite of a lot of the other rest of the class. It has no effect on pain whatsoever. In fact, it, was, it failed as an experimental pain drug. But what it does do very uniquely is the ability to interact with the immune system okay. and take very heightened inflammation back to normal. And that's exciting because no one's ever managed to do that. This is a completely novel mechanism of action. Now, you've done some financings, but right now, currently, you suspect that you have enough cash to be able to get through Correct. your Correct. You have enough cash to get through all da three data sets. Well, that's terrific. Well, you know, again, I want to emphasize to people, this is, a, to me, a very exciting club as, uh, company. It was brought to us by a caller, and I am so glad that Dr. Yuval Cohen has gone on the show to be able to tell the story of Corbis Pharmaceuticals. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.